Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back from our brand new video. I'm going to cost one a quick fire little video, it's going to be just hitting you with some transfer news, updates and the incomings and also the outgoings. Not too much else has been done today, so yeah let's jump into the very very first topic of today. Now it's going to be a player that's incoming and his name is Sean Goss or Sheen Goss. Uh, so Sean Goss has obviously came from QPR, now he did originally start off at Man United, transferred to QPR last season, a 2016 season, for 500k. The same amount as we sold Barry Mackay, so hopefully we get a same calibre player. Yeah, yeah, for 500k, yeah. Uh, Sean Goss, now I'm going to throw his career stats up there, I uh, should be on the screen just now for you to watch. The thing that jumps out to me, and I'm trying not to be overly negative, because obviously he's a Rangers player now and I'm completely backing him, but as you can see a bit there... He's only played six um, competitive games. Now, the under-23 Development League, you know what you know what I'm meaning by that is, obviously, it's not professional. It's not fully professional. There's uh, players that's never going to play and all that cool stuff. It's in the Development League. So that is my only, my only worry with that. He's only played six real competitive matches. A lot like Nemani when he came in. That's what I'm getting strong Nemani vibes from him. But listen, he's a, he looks like a nice lad. He's fired up a nice little tiny message up on Twitter um, that reads, uh, Delighted in order to join Rangers Football Club. Thank you all for your kind and welcome well, uh, your welcome messages. Can't wait to get going and meet all the lads. So, fair play, I'm like that. But again, with these stats, zero goals in the assist, zero assist of the assist. In six matches, been dropped by QPR, never played all season. Um... Fans, I've even heard some QPR fans, he's, he's not too great when he did play. He's a very, very versatile midfield player. That's probably why we've signed him, if I've been 100% honest with you, just so he can play anywhere, like he's a bit part player. Um, but again, that's not really what I wanted for our first transfer of the season, like our big first one to get everyone rallying and saying, this is it. Our first one, Sean Goss. I'm kind of feeling a wee bit empty about that one and kind of a wee bit down. How are you feeling? He's happy. Do you think it's a great sign -in? Do you know of him? I don't personally. I've never seen him play. Did our scouts even see him play? Because <laughs> he's not played all season It's and he's only played six times. So I'm confused with that one. Uh, but again, let me know down below if I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong and tell me where he's going to play. Who would you drop from him? Because I think our, our main midfield when everyone's fit is McCrory, uh, Jack, uh, Holt, uh, and then obviously Dorrance ahead of the diamond. That would be my four defence Does uh, midfield. Does anyone there get dropped for this guy? I don't think so. I, should, I think we should be improving the team, not just worrying about bit bad players, but that's my thoughts overall. And again, hopefully he proves me wrong. I'd love to be proved wrong. Hopefully he's a superstar and we end up signing him. as a six-month loan deal right enough, but yeah, hopefully he plays well. Good luck to you, mate. Thank you. Second sort of today, keeping it quick fire, is uh, speaking about uh, Nemanja again from earlier on. As he's not been signed on a pre-contract from Rangers like which we are led to believe that's why we got him on loan so we can see what he's like, sign him in January and then yeah, develop him for the future. That's not happening. The Go Ahead Eagles, which is the best football name of all time, apart from Rangers Football Club, has, has confirmed that they are going to be signing him. So yeah, the man is gone. How are you feeling about that? Remember, remember that 60 seconds versus Ross County? That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, bye Nemani, thanks for everything that you've done for the badge And yeah, you must have been training hard Because you played a lot hard, a lot more than Dalcio did So, yeah You ever just finish a video And realise more news drops So, that's great So, I'm just going to casually put my mic down Right, and we're going to just pretend That wherever I threw this in my video That it's just natural and just seamless Okay, because I was finished I was done lads, I was out But, the news has just dropped that Pena Looks like he's going to be returning to uh, Mexico to rejoin with Pedro Kishina um, with a, as a loan with an option to buy at the end of the season. Now, it's not been officially confirmed. It's just literally breaking over uh, Twitter and that just now. So, it's all over the place. So, yeah, make of that as usual what you will. But, yeah, it looks kind of official because a lot of the Mexican accounts are tweeting it out. And we've all kind of knew that Pedro's uh, pen has not been happy at the club. So, all I want to ask you guys right now is... Are you happy with Pena leaving with uh, on loan with an option to buy at the end of the season? Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Does that make more room for like Goss who I mentioned earlier in the video? Seamless. Um, yeah, let me know. Pena, out. My personal opinion is, uh, uh, if it's recouping the money we, we spent on him, absolutely. If it's not re recouping and it's actually a lot lower, like whatever, 1.5 million, absolutely not. Tell P Pedro to piss off. Uh, only accept the loan option to buy. If the same amount as we spent on them or more. That's my opinion on it. So yeah, back to me, I guess. Fun little fact as well for the third and final story. We have two more people returning from loans, which is Joe, Dodo, and also MOH. The MOH one is a wee bit funny because the Johnson don't really want to give him back. <laughs> but technically, as it stands just now, which is the third of January, he's a Rangers player. But yeah, keep an eye on that one. 
I've, I've got a weird feeling about that one. So, do you think any of the lone players come back? Do you think Doru can improve the squad? He's obviously he's direct, he's skillful, he can play on the left, he can play on the right. And again, MOH, does he deserve a chance? As much as you guys were saying, um, Andy Halliday played in a poor manager system, blah, blah, blah. Is there no time to give MOH a chance? That's what I'm saying. Just be fair. Alright, you can you can't just make excuses for certain players and you and you can't use it for the same. If you're using that excuse that he's played for a manager, blah blah blah, you can use it for MOH. Give him a chance, he's fast, he's direct, we paid a lot of money for him. Then he just do the Ranger thing, spend money on him, bench him for a year, loan him out, and then sell him for a cup ahead price, losing a lot of money on him. Just play him. Please. Just play him in January. Please. That is my thoughts. What is your thoughts down below? But before we wrap up today's video and get to the sponsor break, I just want to give a shout out to a lad called Adam. His sister reached out to me on Twitter, said uh, he's a very big fan and he also loves the sponsor break and stuff like that. So thank you, buddy. Have one on me because we're about to have one right now. The rest is get your drinks up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the sponsor break. Sponsor break! <laughs> That's it. Quick little video. Again, these might um, consist of for the next couple of days until the 11th of January when we're back playing games. We're going to be doing something tomorrow where we're playing with the Danny Wilson in form. Have a wee bit of fun with that, so stay tuned to the channel. But I've been CJ Novo92. Thank you for watching, and bye bye. <laughs>